Are you a chicken when it comes to video for your interior design business? Well, I'm going to help you get over it. Have you hit a wall when it comes to growing your interior design business? Then welcome to Wingnut Social, the podcast specifically designed to accelerate your business through increased social media presence, impactful online content, and translating industry experience into physical success. This is your design business tightly fastened. Now welcome the hosts of Wingnut Social, Darla Powell and Natalie Graff. Hey there, and welcome to the Monday Marketing Mini Potty. I am your host, the Grand High Poobah of all things Wingnut, Darla Jethro Powell. And I am joined by the soulless ginger, Natalie and Graff, who is sitting across from me, fervently shaking her head. What is the matter, Natalie? How many times do I have to tell you it is not Mini Potty? It is a Mini So, Darla. Clearly a few more. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's agree to disagree on this one. How about I quit? Oh, Okay, guys, so if you're interested in co-hosting the podcast with me, please send your applications to Darla at wingnutsocial.com. Don't let the door hit you on your ass on the way out. Oh, boy. And this recorded, <laughs> and this could maybe hold up in court like a legal binding action that Darla oh, said, send it in. Hush your mouth, Amish. You can't, go, you can't go anywhere. I can go fishing. <laughs> Natalie, today we're talking about one of the biggest pain points that we have with Wingnut Social clients, one of the biggest barriers and obstacles. Our clients, interior designers just are scared to death, most of them, not everybody, but most, a majority of doing video, of being on video. Yes, but I would like to tell everybody listening that I am looking at someone who was a big old fat chicken shit when who? I came. Uh, the person I'm looking to, across, maybe the <laughs> the main head wing nut of the all grand things. The Grand High yeah. Yes, you were a big old fat chicken shit. You were so scared to death of doing video, and for the reasons that are so stupid, my hair don't look right, my makeup's not right. What if I look old? What if I look fat? What if I, what if I, what if I? Okay, I think we get the picture, right? But, you know, you guys listening are listening to that, and it's kind of hitting home with a few of you, I'm sure. It's resonating. You know, back then I would be like, oh my gosh, I gained five pounds. I'm going to wait. I'm not going to shoot this video until I lose the five pounds, or I'm going to lose the 10 pounds. It's ridiculous. And it's a good reason to procrastinate. And Finally, once I started doing the videos and getting more comfortable on the video, it was really no big thing. It was no thing but a chicken wing. It starts to get more and more comfortable. So practice does play into that. But let's go into my top three tips for losing your fear of being on video. I like number one. I think it's perfect. Number one, get over your damn self, right? Nobody cares what you look like. In the big scheme of things, really, nobody does. People only care what they look like. They're obsessed with themselves. When you walk into a room, you don't really care what everybody else looks like. You're just like, oh my gosh, am I wearing the right thing? You know, am I, do I have spinach in my teeth? And that's how everybody else is. So flip that. Flip that psychology when you're doing a video and just know that people don't care really what you look like. I mean, short of doing what the Amish across from me does here by not even washing their face or and wearing PJs or brushing their hair. <laughs> listen, listen, Linda. I'm exaggerating. I'm she exaggerating. She is exaggerating. She does wash her face. <laughs> <laughs> to speak a little bit more about getting over yourself, think about it this way too. If you are sitting in your office and Mr. and Mrs. Client walk in, you're not going to say, hold on, wait, let me go comb my hair. Let me fix my makeup. Let me make sure the lighting's just right before I talk to you. I mean, think about it that way. That's, that's pretty silly, right? So get yeah. over it. Get yeah. over yourself. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You don't want to purport to be something on video that you're not when you go to meet clients in their homes. You're, you are you. There is nothing that's going to change that. You don't want to fight that. And nobody's perfect. Embrace your imperfections. Except it's, the Amish. Yeah, exactly. Embrace your imperfections. They're what makes you interesting. A good thing to keep in mind here, too, is 83% of social media going into 2020 is leveraged towards video. So if you guys are still putting off video because you ate too many Springerly cookies from Jerry Cerruti. You better get over <laughs> your damn self. Get over your damn self. Exactly. Get over your damn self because that's a lot of ROI you could be leaving on the table. Hey there, wingnuts. Do you love doing your own social media but just don't have a sound strategy in place? Are you just throwing images at the wall hoping they stick to your ideal client? Well then, Natalie and I are super excited to tell you about our Wingnut Social Strategy Package. One of our expert social media wingnuts will help you discover your goals, analyze your current performance, build your customized social marketing plan, 
and coach you on the implementation. It's a tremendous value, and you can find out more by going to wingnutsocial.com slash services or by giving us a call at 1-877-WINGNUT. Again, that's wingnutsocial.com slash services or 1-877-WINGNUT. Now, back to the show. I think you uh, said something about the Springerly cookie and the nice little imprints and having that on your butt. I'm pretty sure it was something (laughs) along those lines. And our last mini potty, yes. Okay, my second point is when you are on video and you're addressing the camera, don't think of the camera as this cold implement of video doom or that you're out there talking to thousands of people or getting that kind of stage fright. Just think of yourself as FaceTiming a friend or a family member with that relaxation and that comfort that you have. Now, when you FaceTime mom, you're not bringing in a team of makeup artists and a director or visual lighting, right? Now, when you do video, don't get me wrong. When you do video, you do want a certain quality of production. You want people to see you. You do want nice lighting, but it doesn't have to be a Cecil B. DeMille production. It just has to be presentable, you know, look nice, clean, but you don't have to be Charlize Theron. There's only one of those. Don't, you're not going to be perfect. Embrace your imperfections. And like if I you're, said. and if you're a teen, like our teenager, you only just have to have your hair has to look right. That's the only, the only qualification for when she does her FaceTime videos. So <laughs> just like Darla said, talk to the video, like you're talking to a family member, or like you're talking to your friend, it'll ease your nerves. It'll mm-hmm. calm your nerves. Don't think about all the thousands that might watch this. Just Pretend you're talking to them and re-record it. Do it a couple times. Do it more than once. I can't tell you. That does help. How many times I've had to press stop and go, stop and go, and how frustrated I used to get with Darla. Like, come on, Darla, get over your damn self. (laughs) That does actually help. That helps to work out the jitters if you're on video. Because when you do it a million, million times, you do start to really just kind of get over it. And you're like, okay, let's just do it. And you slow down, your heart rate adjusts. So that is a very good practical tip. This last tip, okay, remember I said, First of all, you want to get over your damn self. Nobody cares about what you look like because everybody's worried about them. Talk to someone like they're a friend or a family member. Just be comfortable with it. Don't You don't have to gussy up for them, right? You don't have to worry about what you look like with them. Same thing for your audience. So the third tip based on this, right? Remember, it's all about your viewer. You're comfortable. You're just talking to them like a friend is to give them value because you're making it about them. It's not about you. People aren't tuning in to see unless you're – a supermodel, what you look like, the bikini you're wearing today, you're giving them value. You're giving them content. And that's really why they're tuning into you. You guys can think right now on the top of your head of people that you watch who are coaches or gurus or podcasters who are not freaking supermodels, who you enjoy watching them. You enjoy taking their content and you don't give two poops about what they look like, right? Even interior designers, they're not all gorgeous and stunning. You like their work. You like what they have to offer you as a viewer. You don't care how they're going to look going down a catwalk. No, they can give you a tip on how to do something or, hey, maybe they give you a tip on you never really thought, yeah, I could do that. I could do this. Mm -hmm. And so you're looking for the value in that video. You're not looking at them. You're not Mm -hmm. looking at all that other garbage that comes along with making a video. Think about some of the biggest interior design influencers, right? I'm not going to name names here because I don't want to put anyone in a category. But you guys can think off the top of your head of interior designers who are super freaking incredibly popular, who are on video all the time, and they are not perfect. You know it. You know that they're not perfect. You can see it in your mind's eye. So what is stopping you? What is stopping you from going out there on video with your unique attributes, being comfortable, talking to a family member, and giving value to your audience? You really, when it comes down to it, is it comes to practice, getting a little comfortable, and not procrastinating. Don't make an excuse not to do video and hinge it on the five pounds, the pimple, the Botox, because that's really all it is. It's just an excuse. Just get out there and do it. I'm telling you, it's, it was terrifying in the beginning. I get it. I'm 51. I have a wrinkle here or there. I get it. But if you do it, keep doing it and practice it. I, you, I swear to you, you will be able to get over your damn self. Yes. And every now and then we are all human and I still have to remind Darla, get over your damn self. Let's sometimes, get this moving. Sometimes. Yeah. But when you guys are watching my videos, you don't care what I look like. You really don't. Uh, to beat a dead horse. You just care about I what just I'm like going to say. I like laugh at what you look like, but you know. <laughs> There's that. There, well, yeah. I'm just saying. Am I a joke to you? Am I amusing? <laughs> You're pretty funny to look at. Does your face hurt? I have no idea what impression that was. That was a little bit of Robert De Niro and um, more cowbell. What's that guy's name? Does your face hurt? (laughs) 
<laughs> no, it doesn't hurt. Why, Natalie? Because it's killing me. Christopher Walken. That's who I was thinking of. All right. So that's really it. That's really what I had to say for today. It, it can happen, you guys. If you're chicken about it, you can grow to be more comfortable. If I can do it, holy cow, anybody can do it. If you guys like what you hear, please leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or whatever the hell you're listening to this podcast on. Be sure to follow us on social at Wingnut Social. You can see the IGTV video I'm going to put out for tomorrow with my Botox um, free forehead. <laughs> And if you need help with your social media marketing, please give us a call at 1-877-WINGNUT and we will be happy to help you with your video marketing, social media marketing, or whatever the hell you need. I think that's it for today, Nat. Got anything else? I do. I'm just so glad you hit record. So long. <laughs> See ya. Thanks for joining us today. Be sure to tune in next week for more business and marketing info and insightful interviews with industry experts and design superstars. Can't wait? Then head on over to wingnutsocial.com for more great content to help you get your business to the next level. I'm going to find you. I'm going to get you, get you, get you, get you one way or another. Ready? Yeah. Uh, how come you always say yeah, and then you go over there and you make all these little noises, you drink a drink, you ah, 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 mm, do your whistle noses. Would you go? Will you let me? I'll let you go. All right. Man, you're going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to kick you out the studio. I'll tell you what. Good boy, Mango.